I got this electric tram set as a present in the late 70s or early 80s, which is about 40 years ago. It was in storage for many years before I recently decided to test it and make a video about it, but I found that it needed some repairs and cleaning before I could show it to you in operation. This tram was originally made by the company Mechanotechnika from Izola, Slovenia, which was at that time part of Yugoslavia. The company was founded in 1952 and it was a well-known manufacturer of toys, educational and construction sets in Yugoslavia. This telephone set is one of their famous products from the early 80s and this iron toy dates back probably from the late 50s or early 60s. In 1990 the company changed its name to Mehano. This is their website and here you can see some of their current products. The scale of this electric tram set is HO, which is the most popular scale of model railway. Let's take a closer look at the components of the set. This is the locomotive. On both tram carriages there is an inscription 1651 3rd Avenue Railway System. The locomotive picks up the power from the rails but there is a trolley pole as well, which alternatively can be connected to an overhead wire. On the bottom side we see the name of the manufacturer, where it was made and the number of the RSO test. Of course, we'll now open it and take a look inside it. The locomotive is driven by a small DC powered electric motor. There is a transmission gearbox and a piece of load made of lead to provide the needed friction between the wheels and the rails. The tie wraps and the white gear element that you see were added afterwards, during the repair that I made just recently. This is the passenger wagon. The body is almost identical, but unlike the locomotive, here the wheels are made of plastic. The track is circular and it consists of 8 curved rail elements with 16 rail joiners. The radius of the track is 342 mm and the length is more than 2 meters. This is the controller and battery box, which is nothing more than a simple power and polarity switch and it was used to change the direction of the tram, but not its speed. Three batteries of 4.5 volts connected in series were used to power the tram. The two wires that connect the controller and the track should be soldered to these two points. And from the photos of other similar sets that I found on the internet, there should be a user's manual as well, but mine was probably lost. So, as I mentioned at the beginning, when I recently tried to run the tram, it didn't work properly, and that was because of several reasons. Over time, the rails, the rail joiners and the metal wheels tarnished and accumulated dust and dirt. That prevented a proper electrical contact and the tram couldn't run smoothly. In addition to that, during the tests and the attempts to find if something else is preventing the motor to run properly, it happened that I accidentally misplaced the motor shaft, which then resulted in several cogs of this plastic gear inside the locomotive to wear out. Besides the oxidation, some of the rail joiners were damaged and some were missing. The coupler that used to connect both carriages was also missing. The metal strips inside the controller were lost. Now let's see how I resolved these issues. First the cleaning of the track. There are many tips for cleaning model railways available, however I somehow came to an idea to clean the track by rubbing it with a school rubber. This worked well and here you can see the results and compare the look of the track before and after the cleaning. Next, the rail joiners issue. I searched and found some used sets of Mechanotechnica rails with joiners, 
but I also wanted to get a hold of a new spare set of joiners or a new track. However, my buying options at that time were limited and since I didn't manage to find the sets from Mechano, I decided to buy some spare joiners and rails of a different brand. In the meantime, for resolving the gear issue, I ordered this general purpose set of gears and I selected two of the smaller gears, which were the closest match to the originals, to make this new gear element. The new element fit well inside the transmission gearbox. In the next couple of minutes you'll see some fragments of that repair. This is the new coupler that I made for connecting the carriages. Since I have regulated DC power supply with variable output voltage and I do not intend to use batteries to run the tram, repairing the controller was not critical for this test and demonstration, so I decided to leave that for some future occasion. Finally, after all these preparations and repairs, it's now time to show you the tram in operation. The original circular track is expanded with some of the additional rails that I bought. The scenery is not fully compatible with the HO scale, however I think that it fits well for this demonstration.
Thank you for taking this tram ride and goodbye.